Hey brothers and sisters, I wanted to bring you a prophecy update on Babylon in the Middle East. A lot of people believe that Babylon will be New York or America, but I believe that we see a literal Babylon in the Middle East. Here's an article from the Cradle, which says, Iraq broke ground on December 29th on 30,000 housing units near Baghdad as a part of a $2 billion project in partnership with the Chinese firms to build five new cities across Iraq. If we go down here, it says they signed a 20-year contract agreeing to supply Chinese firms with 100,000 barrels of crude oil with the revenue earmarked for funding various development projects in Iraq undertaken by Chinese firms. Here's an article that says China actively involved in Iraq's reconstruction. I think Iraq in the Bible is very significant because we see Babylon, a literal Babylon in the Middle East. Zechariah refers to the land of Shinar, where the original Tower of Babel was. So we just see from these articles, uh, almost like a revival, uh, reconstruction of the Tower of Babel in the Middle East. This article says Beijing is fully committed to friendly ties with Baghdad. Trade between China and Iraq reached around $50 billion last year, and China is the largest importer of Iraqi oil. Again, ties between Baghdad and Beijing have developed recently. China has accelerated its investment in Iraq and other Western Asian nations. Here we see in Revelation chapter 18, and the merchants of the earth will weep and mourn over her, for no one buys their merchandise anymore. Uh, Revelation 18 speaks of a literal Babylon with great wealth from all the nations of the earth. We can see China rebuilding um, a lot of Iraqi cities. So again, I think we see that these articles are validating. We are seeing a uh, resurgence of a literal Babylon in the Middle East. Uh, let me play this clip from Brandon House's prophecy update with Andy Woods as they talk a little bit more about this article. Which is Babylon. Uh, let me bring up an article here. Babylon, uh, I think this comes from the cradle. Here we go. China, Iraq began construction of new city near Baghdad. This is a December 29th, 2023 article. You and I are one of the few people, Dr. Woods, that are holding to the Bible. <laughs> oh, we're so we're so risky, aren't we? We you and I we you and I believe when the Bible says Babylon, it means Babylon. Rome, it means Rome. Jerusalem, it means Jerusalem. Israel means Israel. The church means church. And so you and I, in our in our risky risky behavior here are just trusting the Bible to be true. I'm being very uh, sarcastic here because I don't think it's very risky for us to trust the Bible at all. But you and I are one of the few people that say, just wait, be patient. It'll all work out. I'm going to stick with the Bible. When the Bible says that there is some kind of world government out of uh, Babylon, literal Babylon, 58 miles south of Baghdad, I'm going to take that to the bank. And uh, you and I are the, one of the few people to do it. They go, oh, no, Babylon the Great, that's New York, you know, or that's America, whatever. You and I are trusting that it is literally Babylon. And we just keep watching for these articles. Comment on that before you get to the article. Well, let me do it this way. Um, you know, pre-1948, from AD 70, when Israel was kicked out of their land until they came back around 1948, uh, everybody thought that the prophecies dealing with Israel and Jerusalem were obviously allegorical. That's obviously speaking of the church. <laughs> and there's a small cadre of people during that time period that said, no, I think Israel has to become a nation again. Well, you just said it. You give history enough time to unfold and the literal interpreter is vindicated. Look at Israel today. Uh, look at her wealth, look at her army, look at her power, look at her existence, look at her survival. So everybody now says, well, I guess the literalist was right. What, what we're suggesting is the same thing is about to happen to Babylon. The word Babylon is used 300 times in the Bible. It's a technical term. It always means a specific city uh, in between the Euphrates and the Tigris. It's the same city where the Tower of Babel once stood. It's the same city that the children of Israel were taken into captivity into. And Bible prophecy indicates that it would 
uh, have a resurgence. It would become the seat of global authority in the last days. And you have a choice. You can either allegorize it and pretend Babylon means Rome, which is really another form of replacement theology when you think about it. Instead of saying, you know, Israel is the church, now we're saying Babylon equals New York or Babylon equals Rome. It's exactly what replacement theologians do to push Israel out of the prophetic equation. But we're having the same choice now relative to Babylon. You either can allegorize it or take it literally. And the same thing is about to happen. The literalist is about to be vindicated. And this article, you know, is just one one demonstration of it. We read in Zechariah chapter 5, 5 through 11, speaking of that future Babylon in Revelation 17 and 18. Then the angel who talked with me came out and said to me, Lift your eyes now and see what this is that goes forth. So I asked, What is it? And he said, It is a basket that is going forth. He also said, This is their resemblance throughout the earth. Here is a lead disc lifted up, and this is a woman sitting inside the basket. Then he said, This is wickedness. And he thrust her down into the basket and threw the lead cover over its mouth. Then I raised my eyes and looked, and there were two women coming with the wind in their wings, for they had wings like the wings of a stork, and they lifted up the basket between earth and heaven. So, so I said to the angel who talked with me, where are they carrying the basket? Notice it says here in verse 11, brothers and sisters, And he said to me to build a house for it in the land of Shinar when it is ready. The basket will be set there on its base. So we see a manifestation of wickedness represented in the literal Babylon of Revelation 17 and 18 in the land of Shinar. And you can see here on the map on your screen, the land of Shinar is modern-day Iraq. <laughs>